Forex traders, what you see in front of you is payouts, payouts, and even more payouts. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with utmost pleasure that I'd like to announce to you that the Forex Mastery students are absolutely freaking cashing out big time. Guys, as the instructor and the creator of the Forex Mastery program, I am so proud of these students because you know why? They have gone out there, they've taken what I've taught them on the Forex Mastery program, which is the top-down analysis, and with everything that I've showed them on this very YouTube channel, they've taken all this information, they've gone out there to buy their prop frame challenges, and they're absolutely smashing it. They're killing it, and I am so, so, so happy for them. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand something, right? You see, a lot of people come into the Forex game and they never make any money. They spend so much money, they, they borrow money from their family. As a matter of fact, they even go as far as raising funds to trade for people. And before you know it, it's gone. People use their school fees, their house rent. Forex Mastery students paid $99 for the Forex Mastery program. Listen to everything that I taught them on the program. Watch my digested my YouTube channel. And now they've gone ahead to buy their challenges. Imagine investing $99 and you're cashing out 5K, 10K, 15K. Guys, it doesn't get better than this. So I wanted to use this opportunity to say congratulations. And if you're a Forex Mastery student and you haven't exactly hit this milestone yet, do not worry. Your blessings are just around the corner. Your mentor, Dapo Willis, my humble self, is back on YouTube and I'm serving you guys my knowledge and my education, everything that I've learned over the last 13 years on a platter of gold. As you guys can tell, I'm very excited. But if you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Dapo Willis and I consider myself one of the most realistic Forex traders out there on the internet. I like to come on here and show you guys how to trade like a pro. So once again, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery Pro, Program, which is helping all these students cash out big on their prop challenges the link is always in the description as always or around here somewhere now guys before i jump into the nitty gritties of this video i want you guys to take a good look at me don't you like my green shirt it looks pretty nice I'm quite excited. I never ever wear green. So today I decided to wear a green shirt because I'm very happy with all these payout certificates that these students have been sending to me. Okay guys, let me take it easy. Without a doubt, I'm proud and I'm so happy, okay? Like I said, that's why I'm wearing this green shirt. And I decided to check in my wardrobe and I found something interesting. I actually have a $75,000 Rolex that I hardly ever wear. Literally, this is the Rolex Day... No, no, Day Just, not Date Just. So the Date Just only has the date. This is the Day Just. So it's literally telling me Saturday and then it's telling me the date. So this is the Day Just rose gold green dial rolex something something limited edition the reason i'm wearing it is because the dial inside if you have a look is green and it matches my shirt green means profit profit means lamborghini and lamborghini means getting yourself some girls <laughs> So guys, if you want to tap into these blessings whereby we're just making all this money in the market, type withdrawals in the comment section down below and all this money and all this profits and all this prosperity could literally be yours. Now, if you're just joining me for the first time, this is actually a segment of my YouTube channel where I come and share with every single one of you on YouTube what exactly I am trading at the moment. With all this money you see everybody making, obviously there has to be some analysis, it's not just hype. Obviously, there's some analysis to it. Recently, I was looking at AUDUSD, um, starting to look like it wants to have some sense, but I think I'm going to be leaning a bit too much towards the Euro, GBP, USD, and the S&P 500 lately. So all the amazing opportunities that could potentially help you guys make all the money in the market, I'm bringing it to you guys live for free. So I'm going to jump into my screen right about now, show you guys some charts. Stay there. Don't go any single where. Stay there, watch everything I'm saying. Just watch everything I'm saying and just click by yourself and make all this money. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Just keep it to yourself and just get the Forex Mastery program. Get the Forex Mastery program and listen to what I'm saying and you'll be rich. You'll be rich in Jesus' name. Say amen. Okay, say amen. All right, time to go. Let's fucking go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome, welcome, welcome inside of my screen. So today I'm just going to go straight to the point. Let's look at what's cooking and what's juicy today on the charts. 
as you guys know i always like to come on my chart and obviously explain to you guys what exactly is going on in the market and i've been monitoring the market for quite some time now and i can tell you that it's been absolute chaos i'm not even going to lie to you and i'm going to explain to you guys why i mean for those of you guys who haven't been able to consistently extract profit from the market over the last one to two months i'll explain to you why that's happening and how exactly you can go about actually making some money in this game because right now the market is neither here nor there so if you're find yourself in a position whereby you're struggling right now do not worry you're in the right place i'm gonna obviously help you guys you know put things into perspective and put things into place but before i jump into the charts properly before i start breaking down the charts you guys just need to do me and yourself one favor and just smash the subscribe button right down there just smash it right there so that you guys get to be notified once juicy information about the forex market like this comes out because at the end of the day if you're not subscribed guess what i'm gonna drop these videos and before you know what's happening you're gonna watch it four or five days later and all the trading opportunities have passed you by so i'm gonna give you five seconds to subscribe five four three two one all right guys let's jump into the charts now I'm gonna start off with one pair first, and then so I've got a juicy setup, but I'm gonna to explain to you guys what exactly has been happening with the forex market recently. So you have to understand that you know, everything in the in this forex industry, right? Everything pretty much revolves around the euro dollar, right? Everything pretty much revolves around the euro dollar. Everything pretty much revolves around the euro dollar. It's absolutely crazy because you know the euro dollar is the inverse of the dollar index so if the dollar index is trending every other thing starts to trend and if the dollar index isn't exactly trending what tends to happen is that everything is pretty much ranging so if the dollar index is in a range every goddamn thing is in the range it's so annoying it's a good and bad thing at the same time but it can be quite annoying now if you look at the euro dollar for a quick second yeah if you look at the euro dollar for a quick second you can see that um this is this is the, the, this market is neither here nor there if you really look at it okay i'm just gonna put this in the range this market has been here low high low high low up and down the whole place now because of all these zigzag movement it's been very very difficult for the average trader to pretty much predict what the market is going to go do next you know everybody's been struggling i see people um posting screenshots of profit today tomorrow they can't really post any screenshots of profit i see people jumping from strategy to strategy mentor to mentor to be honest there might just not be something wrong with your strategy it's just something wrong with the market at the moment and to be honest things like this happen now what has hatched, what has actually happened to the euro dollar is very simple right so we've had a situation whereby we had this massive bearish momentum to the up to the down side which started from 20 for a whole year and then we had this massive pullback and then ever since then consolidation and the truth is for every massive movement in the market there must be a period of consolidation now you will definitely see traders on twitter you know try to act like they know where all these supply and demand zones are but the truth is yes is, is you can definitely pinpoint supply and demand zones within this range but they're not sustainable that's why you see you jump into a sell trade you think the market is going to drop here it just gets here and just turns around okay so okay let me start buying let me zoom this in properly so you say okay let me start buying you start buying here the market gets here and just starts dropping all of a sudden i'm just like what am i going to do <laughs> the truth is there's only so much you can do okay there's only so much you can do today this might look like a head and shoulder tomorrow it looks like a triangle breakout pattern um you know and stuff like that so i, I really sympathize with most traders out there but the gospel truth is until we break out of this range it will be very difficult for you guys to spot very nice trading opportunities but not to worry i have found a trading opportunity that i feel like you guys can take advantage of which is probably about 400 pips um potentially um and then obviously you have gbpusd i've kind of like cracked the gbpusd uh gbpusd code uh, over the weekend so don't worry but i just wanted to give you guys some insight as to why things have been very tough if the euro usd is flowing freely everything moves a lot freely but if the euro usd is just in a massive range best believe so this should pretty much be like your yardstick for measurement um so if you get into trades now and show if you see 60 70 80 pips take it to take it and keep it in your pocket because right now things are absolutely crazy so now, now we're done with the euro dollar let me actually take you over to a pair that i found very interesting which is gbp jpy so we're going to start off from the monthly time frame you guys know i usually don't trade jpy pairs so for me for me to actually start looking into jpy pairs best believe yo 
she's wild <laughs> she's wild but it is what it is one of those things and this is why i always tell traders about the top-down analysis and forex mastery program it's simple because look at it now the the major pairs are acting up the pairs that everybody likes to trade it's just giving us headache but with the top-down analysis we have the ability to select from any pair and be able to predict them accurately and be able to make a lot of money from them only the top-down analysis allows you to do that most strategies in quote are only limited to a few or select amount of pairs that you can only trade them during particular sessions or particular time frames or particular times of the year with the top-down analysis you can trade anything you know what to trade and what not to trade. As we know, the euro dollar is a no-go area. But now with the top-down analysis, the knowledge we have from the top-down analysis, we can see that we can pretty much um, we can pretty much analyze anything. So I'm just gonna quickly break down GBP JPY. So simple and so easy for you guys to see. Okay, so from what I can see on GBP JPY, it's pretty pretty much very straightforward. So we have a double bottom which has formed here. We had this massive rally. This massive rally, I remember predicting the market to come into uh, this region about here. Once we took out uh, this level somewhere about here, I'm going to zoom in shortly so that you guys can see what I mean. So simple as short. This was a double bottom on JBP JPY. Um, we came around here. Once we breached it and came back down to test it i knew for a fact that next level target was going to be 193.565 but at the time i wasn't really interested in gbp jpy why because i had easier pairs to trade like aud usd euro dollar and gbp usd i would pick the majors over the cross pairs any day okay so i wasn't really trading this much although i made a lot of money from here um but i left it alone because i like to stick to what i feel comfortable trading but now that what I feel comfortable trading doesn't feel comfortable with me trading it, <laughs> we got to come back. <laughs> so, you know, it's very simple. So what has happened with GBP, JPY is we've taken out previous resistance. This was a major sell off as far back as 2015 dropped. This is a major supply zone about here. We've cleared it on a monthly time frame. And once you can see two monthly candles have closed above above it um all that is next is for us to actually start heading to the next supply zone if you look on the left which is 2.14.241 okay so gbp jpy easy so you can see top down analysis forex mastery students you already know what's going to happen next i'm expecting a pullback so what's happening right now is I'm just scale down to the weekly time frame so as you guys can see in the weekly time, I'm just going to adjust this to accommodate demand zones. So from what you, from what I can see about here, I have all this space to the upside. So 1.1, 1.91 to 2.14. So you're looking about well over 400 pips, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a lot of pips from here to here. So yeah, but well, at least 400 pips all the way to the upside. Um, and one thing about JPY pairs is that they do hold a whole lot of pips. Um, sorry, I'm not really sure about the exact pip count here. I'm going to have to calculate it properly. Um, but what I can tell you that it's a whole lot of pips to the upside because JPY pairs, when they move on higher time frames, the pip count is usually a lot. So what's happening right now is we've broken out of that resistance level was just hanging about here i'm expecting some form of a consolidation now this consolidation is most likely going to form and pull back probably into a trend line level like so so it's very simple and straightforward i just draw my trend lines pretty nicely like so this trend line is what is going to guide this market all the way to the upside and the good thing about this is because because of the fact that it's on a weekly time frame because of the fact that it's on a weekly time frame, it will take some time for the market to relax, for it to chill. And because of the fact that it's on a weekly time frame, best believe that this trend line is most definitely going to hold. So now that I'm done, so I'm done with the monthly, weekly, next now let's go over to the daily time frame. Once again, guys, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, ensure to do so so that you can learn how to analyze the market just like my humble self. It's so simple, so straightforward. So I'm gonna take out this green bar um, because I want to replace it with a minor support zone which is here which is also a form is, uh, is acting as a 
level of support as well okay so my ideally at the moment i'm watching gbp jpy um for a potential pullback into this region before we fire to the upside i can see that the market putting a high somewhere around here and at the moment supply is actually uh taking over this game as we speak which is at the top here okay so from what i can see although it's pulling back to, i know it's going to break down into here <laughs> no market gets here and starts running to the upside if there's anything i learned about forex don't worry don't be fool don't come here and start buying oh, because you destroy you it would destroy you you have to allow this market relax and come to you so ideally i'm waiting for a, a pullback into this region and then i can start looking for buying opportunities um so for those of you guys who are counter trend traders for quick scalpers here and there so this is a very easy sell trade for you guys going into this week um so i don't really like to trade stuff like this i'm not a quick in and out guy but this is a decent sell opportunity for you guys i best believe this guy is gonna melt best believe best believe best believe we're gonna obviously drop all the way to the downside you know so for some juicy pips um so so i just need to zoom this in zoom uh expand that pretty nicely so i see no reason why gbp jpy shouldn't roll over to the downside uh, in the next coming days or so um but that's not the that's not the kind of way i like to trade maybe i'll drop maybe like one percent on my account for gbp jpy to come down um but ideally overall i'm looking at the bigger picture and the bigger picture is telling me yo daps this is where i'm heading to okay so you heard it here first on dapsy radio gbp jpy next level target 2.14 i'll be looking for pullbacks and another thing is because of the fact on that on this channel we're not used to trading jpy pairs this is what you're going to do always look back and see how the market consolidated before you rally to the upside as you can see we've had you know the market took a while here to consolidate before it carried on to the upside so the same way the market consolidated here is most likely going to be the same way the market is going to consolidate here so we've had this first push to the upside we've had this drop push to the outside drop now we're up here so most likely it's going to drop so this one dropped this one is also going to drop expect a push to the upside it might not rally to the upside like it did here it might drop again although we might not have three drops in this case because we have a trend line lineup about here but i am expecting another drop about here so guys you have to understand one thing about price action price action oops sorry guys i think i moved it out of the recording zone so one thing about price action is price action will always leave clues it will always 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 leave clues that's one thing about price action so um yeah i'm just going to pretty much wait for this market to pull back i just hope my screen is recording properly sorry i'm getting distracted um give me a sec guys just one sec let me just make sure everything's recording just fine all right, guys, so sorry about that. I just had to make sure that my entire screen was recording. I just didn't want to leave anything out at all. At all. So that's GBP, JPY, guys. Expect a collapse of GBP, JPY into 192.00. And then obviously we should definitely blow out of here. So for those guys who have prop firm account, guys, once again, um, before you buy your prop firm account, ensure to get the Forex Mastery program so that you can go into the market and then refine your entries and make this shit happen once again the link to the forex mastery program is in the description as always once you get that head over to www.williscapitals this s at the end of capital capitals.com and get your prop account and use this strategy and use this analysis to absolutely smash it in the game you have all these trading opportunities to the upside i see no reason why now let's head over to gbp usd to see what going um hold on let's type gbp usd here now now that we're gbp usd let's actually understand what exactly the hell is going on but the only way we can understand what's going on with gbp usd is we need to start from the monthly time frame first so let's head over to the monthly time frame to see what exactly what the hell is going on with this pair um so for the longest time gbp usd has been quite confusing for a lot of traders i've been monitoring the, the gbp usd's progress for a while now and what i can tell you is something very simple and very straightforward i'm starting to get this sense that 
hold on let me draw this trend line and then i'll be able to give a final verdict so this is the inner trend line you can see it's been broken tested and we're pointing to the upside let's draw a trend line for the second trend line which is here so right now what is happening to gbpusd is very simple from what i can see gbpusd is looking like it wants to attack this resistance bar so a very simple scenario is this okay we've come down here we pulled up here Fibonacci was supposed to point down. This guy was supposed to come down. He didn't do that. We came in here and we had a reversal candlestick pattern on the monthly time frame and started pointing to the upside. Now, when this kind of thing happens, you need to be very careful. And now we've also even pulled back and we have a bullish, uh, May was a bullish engulfing monthly candle as well. What this is telling me is very simple. Also, we've had a low, higher low, and higher low. So three consecutive higher lows and monthly time frame patterns behaving like this. I'm starting to believe, I'm starting to be, become of the opinion that this pair is looking like it wants to go into some form of a reversal mode to the upside. So what can i say i mean at the moment at the end of the day i'm a forex trader i'm only going to trade what exactly it is i see so without a doubt guys i will not be surprised if gbpusd decides to attack this black bar and blow up all the way to the upside so at the moment gbpusd uh, i'm starting to feel a bit tempted to start calling bullish calls on gbpusd i'm not going to do that entirely uh, I need to move this bar around. I need to get my Fibonacci. Give me a sec, guys. Yeah, found you. Yeah, Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. So what's happening right now is GBPUSD is playing this Fib. It's playing this Fib A, B, C, D. So probably would want to come and complete somewhere around here. Hold on. Okay. So if you come, that's a weekly. So if you come to the daily, so we can see things a bit better. Span this bad boy. So yeah, so we're to, it's it's looking like it's you know it wants to come in here and then obviously when guys you see this is my issue with markets that are not exactly straightforward. When the market goes into a range, and this is why I keep telling traders <sighs> make as much money as you can make when the market is trending. It's because you see these ranging markets today is up to tomorrow is down tomorrow is up to and it's so it can be quite challenging for you to basically pinpoint what exactly the market wants to do next because i mean you would think that okay this is a high pullback and then we should start heading all the way to the upside so tell me why we're having bearish momentum about here crazy but i'll tell you why we're having bearish momentum about here i know everything that's going on don't worry so what the market wants to do is pretty much very simple okay i'm expecting gbp usd <laughs> People were like, ah, he doesn't know what's going on for the first time. I always know what's going on. I always know what the market wants to do next. This is what is most likely going to happen to GBPUSD, if I'm being very honest. Something like this. So we're going to have temporary bearish momentum, which is also going to push GBPJPY down. So feel free to jump in for sales if you want. Um, most likely going to push it down. Let me zoom in so that you guys can see which is most likely going to push this down into um, levels at about 1.253. Um, and then once we're done here, you most likely see a stabilization somewhere around here. I'll be looking for buy opportunities here and then push this market all the way to the upside. So GBPUSD at the moment, you know, it's... I'm bearish for now, I'm not going to lie. This pretty much contradicts um, my very structured uh, top-down analysis approach, but now I'm using a lot of experience here. Um, and experience is something you just can't buy. <laughs> it's something that you just can't buy. So, uh, GBPUSD, guys, um, I'm expecting bearish momentum into 1.2500. Uh, you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Sales are coming into 1.2500. I see no reason why um, we shouldn't obviously drop into those levels and then anything that happens from there i'll be expecting some bullish momentum okay guys so that's pretty much gbp usd in a nutshell and then btc let's head over to btc something more promising btc seems a lot more promising these days than most of these pairs so we're gonna break down btc me and you you and i us and we 
<laughs> us and we sorry guys i'm actually doing my analysis from my macbook uh, my imac you know what happened i flew with my imac to lagos <laughs> i flew with my imac to lagos and i left it in lagos can you imagine that's absolutely wild how who flies the imac to lagos and leaves it in lagos so i ordered a new one it's going to be here um by the time the next video comes out and by the way guys um i'm not joking when i say i'm back on youtube this time around like yeah, you guys remember when back in 2022 2021 2022 a bit of 2023 when i was always putting out amazing videos um once again i'd like to apologize for not keep maintaining that consistency what actually happened was we had to go launch willis capital that's just the gospel truth i had to go launch the prop firm and it's not easy being a ceo of a prop firm and being um a content creator as well you know something will suffer and unfortunately the youtube channel suffered but i don't believe in anything having to suffer i believe in being able to do everything that i want to do and at the end of the day my mission here is to deliver as much quality products that i can content that i can to you guys so i am back there's another video guys gonna drop on saturday next week and sure to watch out for it i really appreciate if you guys want to watch the video subscribe comment it and obviously most importantly learn from it as well okay so back to what i was saying so <clears throat> what's happening with um what's happening with what's it called let me actually expand my screen a bit more so what's happening with all right guys so what's happening with um btc at the moment is actually something very simple and straightforward i'm just going to break it down for you guys so for the longest time, Bitcoin was doing his madness, still is doing his madness, but I spotted something very interesting that I want to share with you guys. So if you look very closely at Bitcoin, you can see this market has put in a double top here. We came down here and then we rallied to the upside. Now we are currently at the very, very, very crucial zone. Um, and unfortunately, BTC is struggling around here, okay? But I also noticed something very interesting. We've kind of like broken all time highs and we've kind of like pulled back into some form of demand zone. Um, I would expect him that because usually when we have a double top or a triple top, what usually happens is that after the first red candle, you see another red candle and more red candles to signify that we have had a double top and the market has respected it. But in this case, we breached it with a green bar. Red bar started to look like, okay, we want to start coming down, but that was more like profit taking. We pulled back and then we've had a green bar at this, look very carefully guys, at this demand zone on the monthly time frame, And we now seem to be looking upward. So from what I can see right now, BTC is kind of like trapped in between all time highs and a pullback of this demand zone about here so if you come on the weekly it will make more sense to you guys on the weekly time frame right about now so if you this is exactly what btc is looking like at the moment so if you look left pretty nicely you guys know my charts are always very nice and clean so what's happening is we've pulled back quite all right into here you see but it wants to break out but this top guy is holding it back so what i'm going to do for btc is very simple simple and straightforward i will just put a resistance bar above here and say to myself when we break here we're good to go if and when so btc for me i'm quite bullish at the moment but the only reason is it's trapped between these two evil spirits here <laughs> so once we can break here we're pretty much good to go okay guys so btc i'm expecting a proper blowout of btc if we can break this levels guys whew, i see no reason why 100k shouldn't be inside for bitcoin i'm not even gonna lie to you because that's the that's the most you know reasonable round number next for btc to hold and if i do a calculation of the total range that this market stayed in here for it's crazy count bro yeah it's a lot too People are going to become very rich if Bitcoin. See, guys, you know what's stopping people from becoming rich in Bitcoin, yeah? Is this black bar about here. If we can break this black bar, guys, it's going to be absolutely crazy. So what whatever happens here is pretty much going to determine the fate of the entire cryptocurrency industry. You guys know I'm always spot on with this stuff. So I'm going to be watching this a bit closely. Um, and yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, I have given you the most important trade call in all of this, which was GBP, JPY. Uh, 
GBP, JPY, I'm looking at the potential pullback. There's a nice trading opportunity that's set up for you guys. No, not this one. I had another GBP, JPY. Was it this one? Yeah. This one. Okay. GBP, JPY, I'm expecting bearish momentum to the downside at about 1.92. Um, as you guys can see, this is for those of you guys who are low, very lower time frame, very, really, really lower time frame. Traders expect this rollover uh, to occur over the next, maybe close open up market next week. Expect this rollover into here. Once we're done with here, we'll start looking at potential upsides all the way to 2.2, 214.92. So yeah, that's GBP, JPY. So this is the trade call I have for you guys, GBP, JPY. And then we have GBP, USD, bearish momentum as well. So I think I'm all around just pretty much bearish on JPY and GBP pairs. So if I draw this trend line like so, once we break this trend line that's happening on uh, GBP USD at the moment, hold on, I'm just gonna draw this about here. Once we can break this, okay, once we can clear this level, so I'll just delete this, simple. So ladies and gentlemen, if we can take out these levels on GBP USD, um, I see no reason why we shouldn't be dropping all the way to 1.25312. So GBP, JPY, and GBP USD, I am very bearish on both of them. Structurally, these are these trade calls are based on structure. So once we can break below these levels, I see no reason why we are not in 100% business. So on that note, guys, I'll catch you on my other screen. I wanted to speak about oil, but not that interesting. Interested. Let's see how these GBP pairs play out. No euro for now. No AUD USD for now. I'm sticking to, G to, to, to the GBP pairs for the moment, for the time being. And I'm going to circle back with you guys about this time next week to reevaluate how everything has done. Once again, I'm here with you guys as always. If you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery program, ensure to do so so that you can study the program. And there's a module, I think module six, where I speak about my entries and exits that will also really help you as well. So once again, Again, guys i love you guys very much i'll catch you guys on my other screen take it easy and peace out all right guys thank you so much for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video it's amazing to be here with you guys once again if you haven't already subscribed to the channel i encourage you guys to do so my name is dapo willis once again i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos and sure to grab the forex mastery program it's in the description somewhere here or around here in the links take it easy and i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos watch the rolex while i say peace peace out